The way government regains the trust of its citizens is by telling the truth. There is no other way, no shortcut. And I call upon our government to open up, like the Belgians have, the French have, the Brazilians have, the Argentines, the Mexicans have all released their files. It's about time now that we do the same thing and become a part of this planetary community. It is way past time for all of us to know what our own government knows instead of being kept in the dark by a policy of denial. The last time the Congress held a hearing addressing the extraterrestrial issue was 1968, 44 years of sightings ago. In those four and a half decades, hundreds of thousands of new sightings have taken place. Government agency witnesses have come forward. Media coverage has expanded. Hundreds of documentaries have been produced, thousands of books have been written, and yet the United States Congress has remained silent. So for a period of five days, at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., two blocks from the White House and 12 blocks from the Congress of the United States, we're going to conduct a citizen hearing on disclosure of an extraterrestrial presence engaging the human race. 40 to 50 witnesses of high rank and station from military, from agencies, and possibly from intelligence services, along with the top researchers in the world, will give 30 hours of testimony to five former members of the United States Congress. So maybe a citizen's hearing has a chance to try to leverage open some of the truth about the fact that we're not alone in this universe, that we might actually begin to look at what we really are, what the true history of this planet is, and that might be what gets us into a future without self-destruction. The model of the citizen hearing is if Congress won't do its job, the people will.